What is up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back into another video of the channel. Today I'm here to talk about 1.8. As if you're seeing the gameplay in the back, you already know what I'm gonna talk about. But I mean, I think it's on the opinion of everybody, including even people who use Dredge, that this was something that was necessary for 1.8 and it was not there. They literally did not change anything. Now, I'm not against Hyrus at all. What I'm trying to do here is maybe call them to attention. Maybe give them some sort of, of idea of what they could do in order to make Dredge less no skill necessary spamming champion. I've been playing Dredge since its release, and the only thing that I've ever used was Scuttle. I never used the Arpoons, probably like 1-2 games max. I don't like the Arpoons. Um, it's not a question of mis needing the aim or anything else. I just don't like it. I think it's more area control if you go with Scuttle. But like me, many different people decided to go with Scuttle. All right, Especially when they nerfed the ammo giving back with the Arpoons, forcing people to actually maybe took another approach to the game and what they did was they went with Scuttle. In case you don't know what Scuttle is, it's its talent where when you reload, that little extra barrel that he shoots uh, actually becomes an AOE bomb and it deals 1000 damage. Now, this connected with the card we have on our deck that I'll probably show you right now on screen. This, if you right click, you get 40% reload speed and then you can just throw this, you know, this final barrel of the reload immediately into the ground right in front of you or maybe into the point, maybe trying to deal some damage on the tanks, not to mention those three little barrels that you already uh, throwed into the point, which is his right click. And it's incredibly strong. I mean, one of the first things that I would do in this is just immediately. Whether you want it or not, whether you're on a dredge main or not, I do not care. This is one of the things that I would change immediately. If you want to keep the reload speed, sure. But at least put it at 25%. Just like Maldamba. Maldamba, I believe his card only gives him up to 25%. And the same would be with dredge. And if, of course, if you had death hands, never get them together, never stack. But I believe that's already there, so thank God for that. I always pick Death Hands 2, because at those precise moments that I cannot throw the right click, at least I can reload faster. Okay, so I'm always going to have that reload speed. But apparently it does stack, it just doesn't stack with the same numbers. Because I noticed that all my reloads are a lot faster. But again, like I said, 25% would be incredibly good. Now let's talk about his portals. His portals are something that I believe are also really, really broken. All right, most of the times we cannot kill him because he has his portals set up on a way that not even Talus has. Talus requires a little more strategy. You have to place the portal where you want to, you know, come back to him, maybe a, a, hide, a hidden corner. But when you use it, it disappears. Same should be with Dredge. Same should be on the way that he uses his portals, like. If you want to place the first portal and then use the second portal, after you get in, both portals should disappear. Because most of the times, a dredge will probably just run into the enemy point, hide a portal there, come back to point, start spamming, start shooting and so on, and in case of danger, he just goes back into the portal to the enemy team side. And then starts dismounting everybody. He may not have survived that because, I mean, a dredge against like 3-4 people at the same time with no support whatsoever will probably die. But even so, it's incredibly annoying. And not to mention that the, the way that they're set is when you teleport, the, tele the portal where you just went to is the one that disappears. So the place where you just gone away from is the portal that says. Meaning that you can come back at any time. You can just go back, get your health back, wait just for the cooldown, and come back at exactly the same point. And as soon as you reach there, you start spamming some nades, get the cooldown, and then just put another portal. And you'll always have those exact same places linked. So, for example, the TDM match that came with Dredge, 
is one of those cases that shows you exactly how broken this is. All right. So that would be something that I would change as well. I don't know. Probably, I don't know. Maybe put an extra cooldown after you put the first portal, so they don't don't just spam one portal and then the other. Because that's another thing that I do not agree with. Where he puts a portal, he puts a second one, and as long as he doesn't use them, he can just start spamming portals as well. As well. So here we go with another another example of spamming. So we got that out of the way. As for the harpoons, I totally agree what they did where if you hit the harpoons, that's when you actually should get rewarded for and then you get the ammo back. So that's good. That that I do agreed. I believe that maybe it's the same way with the heals. If it is not, if the card that grants you heals after you thrown the harpoons, if it's not on that same way where you have to hit it, then you should, it should be like that. I'm not entirely sure because, as I said, I don't use our poons. Now, I have here an idea for the right click so we can stop the spams, uh, which is pretty much the system of Kinesa. If you guys don't know what the system of Kinesa is, is when you're not using the scope, you use individual bullets. But when you use the scope, you use up to four or five bullets at the same time, right? For one sniper shot. So the same should be for Dredge. You have nine barrels on his chamber, on his chamber of the, of the gun. And if you want to use the right click, instead of throwing three grenades, you consume three, three uh, barrels indeed, but he only throws one of those that floats in the air. That would make it a lot less spammy, first of all. Second of all, it wouldn't be as you know, as area controlled as it is, because it is incredibly strong and incredibly broken. I don't like it, for example. Me and a lot of people don't like it. And it's incredibly strong when it comes to damage on different places at the exact same time. So you can control, with a lot of damage, different areas. You can just move left to right, or right to left, or so on, and put those three different barrels on different places. And I do not agree with that. You should still consume the three barrels, indeed, but you only throw one. So then you can pretty much be like a bomb king almost, where you have to be more precise with your things. The other thing that I would do was definitely decrease maybe the damage from the scuttle, the reload, the AOE, you know, reload barrel. Put it at maybe up to 850 or less, because in case you don't know, yes, you deal up with flanks like that. But hey, Willow was doing 800 with Nightshade, right? So why does why does Dredge has to deal much more damage in every single possible way than, pro for example, Willow? Why does he have to do a lot more damage than maybe Leon? Both of these champions require a little bit of skill. Of course, Leon has auto aims and so on. But I mean, with Nightshade, you don't need a lot of skill. You just throw it in the ground. It doesn't do anything to you, right? But the same should be with Dredge. If you want to use the reload, sure. But reduce his area of damage, first of all. And then reduce his damage itself. So they wouldn't just be spamming it on the point all the time to the tanks. I mean, an Anara can take it. A Terminus can take it. But there is a limit. And they will eventually have to break it down. And they will lose. They will die. In my case scenario, if I don't ban Dredge on competitive, somebody's going to pick it. And there's always spamming all over the place. Flanks will not survive because there's almost no flank that can survive. Moji is broken at the moment. Neither the reload barrel or the harpoons actually create a mark on Dredge when she has the magic barrier up. It's still bugged. And there's not a lot of other champions. Even Androxus can reverse it. But if he throws the three barrels, as I was saying, some of them will not go right in front of him if they're well thrown. So, I mean, it's not up to me to just this, but Dredge is not just a, a damage dealer. He's a flank shredder. He destroys damage like that. He kills uh, supports like no other. Like, people are not even expecting. Just the grenade comes out of the middle of the air and just gets you a last second because he just throwed it and did uh, uh, hit it on the wall and just bounced uh, like side to side. I mean... Is it up to me to decide this? No, it's up to Harris. But if you do take a look into the gameplay you're seeing right now, 
And if you look at, into the gameplays I've posted in the beginning when Dredge came out, if you even take a look into how much people are using Scuttle right now or how much is being used on competitive and how much damage is he dealing on most of these, these case scenarios. If you're a bad dredge, you're probably not going to do a lot of damage. But if you're a good dredge, you know what I'm talking about. You know that you're always like above the damage of anybody else. And it's insane. As I said, portals should be nerfed. The harpoons, they're good. Okay, the ultimate, I f is find it fairly easy to get out. Pretty good. Okay. His left click... Maybe just this is the last nerf and I know that you guys are thinking wait the way that you're saying you want people to nerf them to the ground completely stop people from using it. Yes, I do. I mean they did that with most of the champions that are overused. Why not do the same with dredge? You only pick dredge if you feel comfortable and if you have skill for it. But as I was saying his left click should have the same ex uh, uh, area of damage or blowing area as bomb king's nades without of course the king's subject talent so what i'm trying to say is make it more skill required all right more you have to be able to know how much nades you how much barrels are using be a little more careful on how you're using instead of just spamming all over the place and i know that a lot of people are asking for the burst meta to end and probably it will end soon but that's what I'm saying. It's not even just the burst meta that it's here the problem. It's the damage. You gave too much damage to too many champions. There is a, a part where people can no longer 1v5 an entire team unless you're using dredge. And if you're using dredge, you still need a little bit of, of course, of support. But dredge will go 1v2, 1v3 easy. Easy. It's one of the, probably one of the only champions that can do that. For example, you can do that with Andrew, but Andrew requires a lot of skill, a lot of aim, a lot of, you know, control on your abilities, and even where you're going with Nether Step and so on. But then you look into Dredge, no, you just spam. Just spam it. I mean, if I wanted to play, you know, less skill-based, I would just go with Lex, where literally I just get close to people and start shooting people. And even that, I was expecting people to nerf him you know, nerf his damage because he literally just gets close to you, starts spamming and does incredible amount of damage. Not to mention they give him CC and damage reduction on his combat slide or whatever it's called. And they took the, way, the CC away from Ash. Ash used to be a tank meta main, alright? She would be right up top. Now she's not. I mean, she's still pretty good. But try to imagine an Ash versus a Dredge. Who do you think it will win? Take in consideration the damage. You see my point here? Now, of course, the CC immunity is not going to save her at all. But it's like I'm saying, you're nerfing the wrong champions. You nerf it Ash on that specific spot because you thought, uh, okay, Ash is being overused. Well, before 1.8 was out, Dredge was already being overused. He's been overused ever since the beginning. If you go into casuals, every five games, three or four, up to four most of the times, will actually have a dredge on them. All right? In the beginning, after it became, you know, the newest thing, people stopped using it for a bit. But then when they noticed, yeah, the burst mat is still here, we have to fight it with something, yeah, well, let's go with dredge. And immediately take everything on your path solo with dredge. I mean... You don't want to play in the narrow, you know, narrow spaces map with against a dredge. You just don't. Trust me. You better have a good flank and go after him. But that's the question. When we're playing in competitive, we require teamwork. But what you're requiring from us is actually solo performance from our flank to deal with the thing that it's actually dealing us the most damage. You're no longer asking us to do team cooperation here. We're no longer on the thing, oh yeah, let's all go together left side. No, because when you get together, that's when Dredge gets the most, you know, it gets stronger. Because the card that it heals you after you hit with Scuttle, I mean, that's another one. I'm, but that cannot be nerfed. That you, ha you still have to hit it with it. But it's so easy to hit. It's not easy to, to survive to those grenades. Alright? 
Make them even slower to actually hit the ground. I don't care. Just nerf dredge to the point, please, to the point of people, only people with skill can use it. All right? Not just some random noob who's on probably silver who doesn't know how to play any other champion. He just decides, oh, no, I'll go dredge because it's easy to play. I'll just spam all over the point. The rest of the team will do the rest. I mean, that's the general opinion. And I know I'm taking too much time of this video already. We're up to 15 minutes. I'm doing a lot of pauses when I'm talking because I'm trying to get the words right and get my thoughts right, what, I'm, what I wanted to say. This is what I wanted to say. All right, please, change his right-click mechanics, uh, reduce the AoE's expansion size, reduce his damage as well, make him a lot more skill required in this, please. Harris, I have nothing on you, okay? I'll go until the end of the line to defend most of the problems you have, like bug fixes and so on, because I know that it's a hard work. It's a lot harder than anybody else can imagine, all right? And I'll keep going, but at least just nerf Dredge. Ne Dredge should have never even gotten into the game after going through PDS and still get into the game like that. That's the problem. He wasn't even nerfed. PDS at this point is, a, is almost a joke. When you don't even take lightly or seriously what people are saying, Dredge is spammy. Dredge is annoying. Dredge stops an entire team and doesn't let the game go on skill base. It goes on, it's everybody for himself. So please, do take in consideration these words. Again, it's not against you. I'm not trying to pick up a fight at all. I'm just asking. This was the worst thing you could have done to us in 1.8 where you did not took a look into dredge all right thank you so much for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed and uh i hope Hyrus can get this video maybe see this video if you can share it share it to them on twitter something just something maybe they can listen to us i know that they're probably going to nerf, nerf him in the future but maybe these ideas will be good for them to actually fix him all right so that will be it for today um and i'll see you guys next time until then, good luck on dealing with Dredge.